I have made this unsteerable in three ways to dispel three myths about how motorcycles turn. One piece of bullshit in the brown pastures of the internet is normal steering. This idea that at slow speeds one simply turns the bars in the direction they want to go and like a normal car, the bike goes there. If that were true, it wouldn't matter that I've added this bumper to the steering lock. I call it Captive Bar Control, or CBC, because it occupies the entire leftward range and is completely inflexible. So anyone who encounters CBC, thunk, can only stay centered or swing right. If normal steering were possible, I should still be able to initiate a right-hand turn. The bars can turn right. But every time I stand the bike up, I fall. Here I'm just trying to make the motorcycle go right again, but you cannot initiate rightward momentum without first turning the bars left. It's impossible. For me, for a niche, and for you, you cannot normal steer a motorcycle because such a thing doesn't exist. There is only one type of steering and that's counter steering. Slow, fast, at every speed, a motorcycle must first steer one way to turn the other. Now I know what you're thinking, a free opinion is worth what you've paid for it. So I've linked a 3D printer file for CBC below. I urge you to go put it on your nice shiny bagger and learn a $30,000 lesson if you prefer. The gist of it is that we steer the tires out from under our machine to lean the other way. You probably know this intuitively. But if not, let's draw it explicitly. There. Now, in turning the bars right it creates a rightward friction force on the contact patch. Newton says our center of mass prefers to stay where it is, so instead the whole system leans left. Again, this is apparent if you watch closely. Whether you think about steering the tires out from under the machine or creating a friction force to torque around the center of mass, Motorcycles counter steer. Only and always and forever, happy Valentine's. But don't let this confuse you. When you learn to ride a bike at age two, your brain learned to counter steer. Whether you do it consciously or subconsciously, it doesn't really matter. You know how to ride a motorcycle, you know how to counter steer. I don't want people wasting time overthinking this. I want people to stop wasting time thinking about steering any other way. Some advocate moving your body to initiate a turn, or weighting the inside peg, or weighting the inside bar. If that were true, it wouldn't matter that my supplementary handlebar is rigid. I could steer using my body alone. But look, big man on a little bike, and I can barely get it to turn. Even when I do, the bike just recorrects back. Newton always wins. See, conservation of momentum says any rightward thrust has an equal and opposite leftward thrust. And that's why body steering is doomed to counteract itself and, well, it gets us nowhere. Of course, we can use slow forces that are weaker than the static friction to inch ourselves along. Substatic forces are how it's possible to ride a bike with no hands, as every tween knows. I'm not saying you can't body steer, I'm saying you shouldn't, because by physical necessity, it's slow. Credit to California Superbike School for saying no to slow first. Keith Code's Go Fast School has made many firsts since 1976. He even pioneered split time training with three stopwatches and a clipboard. 101 world and national champions are graduates of his. Wayne Rainey, Doug Chandler, Ben Spees, and also slugs like me. Along with 150,000 students across 38 countries, it's the only truly international advanced riding school. Now, I'm not saying Keith Code School changed me because they sponsor this video. I'm saying it changed me because two years ago, we spent our own money to go and take their course. On their S1000s, two on one with their pros, and more clear track than I knew what to do with. It was expensive, but I can say as a customer first that it's the fastest way to learn to be fast. Click the link below to see their schedule and rates. I hope you at least consider it. 
So there's no such thing as normal steering. There's no significant thing to be gained by body steering. Instead, we counter-steer our motorcycles into a lean. But even the lean is not what makes a motorcycle turn. Say you're floating on a motorcycle through space. If you lean that bike over, it'll keep cruising straight. And we needn't go to space to prove it. We need only mount our motorcycle on some very economical wheelbarrow tires. And yes, this does prove more than that I'm a cheap bastard. See, leaned bike, no turn. Leaning is not turning. The real reason motorcycles turn is that they come onto the sloped area of their tires. And if we draw out those slopes, a leaned motorcycle is rolling on a cone. And we all know a rolled cone will trace a corner, since for each rotation, the shorter circumference travels less distance than the longer circumference. Properly speaking, the lean does not make the motorcycle turn. It makes the motorcycle not fall over while it turns on its cones. Oh, oh, Marcus, it's oh he's gone again! Oh, that's a big... And to answer the original question, yes, you can still turn a motorcycle on flat treads. You just have to keep the bars turned through each corner because the lean itself does nothing. It feels really weird. <laughs> So, to corner faster, don't worry about normal steering, don't worry about body steering, just counter steer harder. It's not unheard of for racers to bend their handlebars counter steering into a turn. Most of us leave a lot on the table. Another fun thing to try is a more cone-shaped tire. For sport bikes, the Pirelli Diablo Rosso 4 was designed to have less curvature coming onto the shoulder, and as we know, a steeper cone traces a tighter turn. Adventure and standard bikes might consider the Dunlop Mutant, another steep profile since its ancestor was a tight-turning supermoto carcass. And then cruisers who want some free engraving on their floorboards should look to the Avon Cobra. Thanks for watching. <laughs>